day, everyone, and welcome to this National Hockey League video conference. I'm John Delapina from the NHL's Communications Department. Uh, before we begin, we at the NHL and the NHL Players Association would like to send along our best for good health to you and all of your families. Uh, we'd also like to thank the members of the media for your patience over the last several days. We tried to give our players an opportunity to do recent events and the resulting upheaval to their personal lives. Appreciate your indulgence with the format of this call. And we thank you for the questions that you submitted. Uh, finally, a shameless plug. This is the third in a series of divisional based calls. Two yesterday with the Metropolitan Division players, a second one today with the North Pacific Division players, and calls Monday and Tuesday with Atlantic and Central Division players, all posted on NHL.com shortly after they end. With that, we welcome four Pacific Division captains. Oliver Ekman Larson of the Arizona Coyotes, Mark Giordano of the Calgary Flames, Bo Horvath of the Vancouver Canucks, and Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers. Gentlemen, for taking the time. Uh, let's get started. Uh, virtually every person who submitted a question wants to know these obvious simple things, and let's go around the horn. We can go in alphabetical order. We'll start with you, Oliver. Uh, where are you? How are you doing? How are you and your family holding up uh, during this pause and self-isolation period? Yeah, I'm in Arizona right now. Um, I mean, after all, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'd rather be playing hockey right now, but uh, it is what it is. And it's more important that we um, get this uh, virus better and everybody feeling good and, and being healthy. So uh, holding up pretty good, but uh, it's, it's hard uh, to, to find ways to to work out and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's good. Mark, how about you? Yeah, same. I'm uh, in Calgary. Uh, this is home now for me. A uh, little bit uh, different being uh, home every day with the family and with the kids, but enjoying that time and trying to take advantage of it. Uh, the season uh, sort of came to a stop, obviously. It was a little bit of a shock for all of us, but like Oliver said, uh, it's really important for us to to be safe and everyone take care of each other and do the right thing and listen to what uh, the doctors and nurses they're the ones who are seeing this on the front lines and we need to we need to listen to them and and do whatever they tell us to. Bo, oh, I know you uh, rearranged the schedule and went to great lengths to be with us today. Thanks for doing yeah. that. Just let everybody know how you're doing. Yeah, doing well. Um, no, we uh, my wife and I went back home to Ontario. Um, no, we, she's pregnant, so we just weren't sure what was going to happen. Or, um, <clears throat> you know, we just wanted to be home just in case. Um, you know, that's where she wants to have the baby, and um, so we went back home. And it's again, it's uh, you know, my family's health's most important thing. And then um, obviously, it sucks not to be playing, but um, at the same time, uh, being back home, it's it's nice. I got a full gym in my place, so I get to work out a little bit. And um, yeah, I know, just trying to stay healthy and and. Uh, Hopefully we can get back playing here soon. Thanks, Paul. Uh, Connor, how about you? Yeah, just here in Edmonton. Um, I thought it was probably the best, uh, best choice to do that. Didn't want to travel through the airport and maybe bring it back home with my family. Um, you know, where I got parents and grandparents and all that. So um, it would be safest just to, to stay put for the time being. And um, we've been to a new place here. So um, breaking that in lots of time, lots of time in the new place. Thanks, guys. So uh, another question everybody wanted, and you, a couple of you alluded to it, and I'll start with you, Connor. Uh, we've seen you working out with your dog, Lenny. Uh, and I, I think everybody just assumes that NHL players, professional athletes have gyms in their home. But then when you think about it, since you have everything you need at the office, I don't know why you would have to have a gym at home. So I'm just wondering how you're adapting, if you're using like household appliances, pets, all that kind of stuff. Connor, how, how are you staying fit? How are you working out? Yeah, well, um, you know, like I said, I got a new place, so I actually did put in the gym. Um, I was putting in the gym. Neil on my team was uh, giving me a hard time. I you know, asked the same question. You know, what's the point of putting in the gym in your house when you got you know, the rink right there? And uh, you know, now, thankfully, uh, luckily I, I did, and I have that uh, that option to work out there. But um, obviously, it's tough. Um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the season. Obviously, we're very hopeful that it's going to come back. And, um, we'll be able to continue where we left off, but um, and we're doing everything we can to, to stay ready to go. And other than Lenny, I hear you might have another different workout type thing you might want to spring on the fans shortly. 
Yeah, uh, this is a clip from, uh, from Aiden and, and Rob, Gary Roberts, Aiden Roberts, and Gary Roberts, and um, they were talking about how um, other kids are just so bored and are really bored of uh, playing video games. So um, it was kind of their idea just to maybe start a, a little home workout um, that you can do. Um, we're working on that. Obviously, it's still a little preliminary, but um, we hope to get that uh, done those soon, maybe. All right, Mark, any creative uh, fitness you're doing at home? Yeah, I mean, I don't have too much here. I have a uh, few cardio machines, but like you said, uh, so used to having, having that resource at the rink. But I've been uh, doing a lot of body weight stuff when it comes to strength and all that. Uh, a lot of push-ups and old-school uh, exercises. But uh, you know what I think? As long as you, you put in about, you know, you put in a good half hour to an hour a day and you maintain uh, a lot of what you have with, with even just simple, simple body weight exercises. Um, for us, I think the, the, the main thing is, is we, we want to be on the ice. So that's the part that sucks right now. We can't, can't get the, our, into our skates and get on the ice. So um, trying to find a lot of different creative ways to stay active. And uh, uh, it's hard, hard to motivate yourself some days, but try to try to do it as early as possible in the morning and get it over with. Okay. Oh, I think you said you had a home gym, but if you're, if you're not home, how are you doing? It? Yeah. Um, no, it's nice actually, obviously, uh, Connor knows uh, to have a gym at your place. Um, but other than that, if uh, I'm not home, be, you know, it'd be running or like Gio said, push ups and old, old school kind of thing. So, um, no, it definitely makes it a lot harder. There's, there's nothing like being in uh, in game shape or on ice shape. It's it's totally different. But um, to main like Gio said, to maintain uh, whatever you can and then try to be in the best shape you can. If we do end up coming back, then that's going to be a huge advantage. Okay, and Oliver, just to to round it out and change it up a little bit. When you don't know when you're coming back, how does that make it harder? So you don't know exactly how to ramp up. Yeah, it's it's hard. Like I said, I I think yeah, uh, just trying to. Um, be moving around a little bit and, and trying to stay in shape but um yeah it's it's tough i mean i've been been running a lot and um my my trainer dropped a couple things off uh, at the front door so i guess he wanted me to to work out and get stronger um but yeah been been um, been all right i mean it's, it's hard when you're used to working out with the, the team and your teammates uh, so it's different for sure all right Let's try a couple of individual ones that were sent in from uh, media members. Uh, ben Kuzma of the Vancouver province for you, Bo. Uh, if, he said, but I'll say when the season resumes, uh, how, how much will you guys be lifted by, uh, by a healthy roster? And, and what do you think the Canucks will have to do better? Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a couple of injuries. Um, you know, Markstrom, our goaltender that was hurt. Tanny, um, who was, uh, you know, kind of just got hurt before this ended. Um, no, it's, it's definitely going to help get our roster healthy and get back going again. I mean, we have uh, a lot of guys that are important pieces to our, our team, and um, if we can put it all together and, and, and stay healthy and, and play the way we know how to play, we're going to have a lot of success going forward. So um, we're trending in the right direction. Um, obviously, it was nice to be in the playoff hunt at this time, and all of a sudden this kind of thing happens, which which sucks. But, um, you know, we're definitely uh, – you know, we were doing a lot of good things before this. Okay. Connor, similar question from Marty Klinkenberg at the Globe and Mail. Uh, and, and we stipulate that all these questions, there's a lot more important things going on in the world, but we're just going to take a couple of minutes to think about hockey. You, you, your team was having such a great season. How does the interruption make it frustrating? Yeah, it's frustrating. Um, you know, but like you said, there's lots, lots more important stuff going on. And, and, and uh, you know, the, the health and, and safety of everyone is, 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 uh, is what's important. Um, so hockey can go on hold for a little bit, but I um, mean, obviously, it's frustrating when um, I shouldn't say frustrating. It's just disappointing when when uh, you know the team's having a good year and and you know in the playoff hunt and and um, you know, lots of good stuff going on. So, but again, it's important that everyone you know does uh, what they have to do and, and takes care of each other, like Gio said earlier, and um, that we can get this thing uh, get this thing over with so we can get back to playing hockey. Hey, Mark from uh, Eric Duhatchik at the Athletic. Uh, I, I guess leading up to the pause, you you had said you thought your team was in a, in a better shape than it was even last year at this time. Uh, and how does how does the pause change that? And after two weeks off of skates, how do you feel? Yeah, no, I said that because 
last year we sort of we had we got off to this great start and we were sort of coasting in and it just didn't feel like we were playing those those type of playoff atmosphere games that you need to be in going into playoffs and it I think it hurt us a bit so what I said was if we do get in this year we're going to have to go on a, a great run to get in and, and be playing our best hockey. Um, yeah, the pause, like, like Connor said, I mean, there's no, there's no other way to say it. It's, it's frustrating sometimes for us. It's disappointing, but again, we, we have to do what's right. And I think, you know, being, being leaders in our, on our team and in our communities, that goes a long way. Um, you know, as far as uh, the break, I think, if we can ever get back to play, and I think this is going to be one of the best playoffs ever because every team's going to have all their, their guys healthy and ready to go. It's going to be, you're truly going to be playing the other, the, the best version of every team, I think. So looking forward to hopefully getting through this as a community and as a group uh, of NHLers here. And then, and then we'll be in for some, some pretty good hockey, I think, uh, if we can ever get into, you know, past this and get into playoffs. Yeah, sounds good, Mark. Uh, Oliver, in a lot of ways, this has been kind of a renaissance season for your team. Uh, attendance is up. You've, you've brought in some star players. Uh, tell me how you feel right now about how, how well that was going and how frustrating it is that it's paused for now. Yeah, I think uh, bringing in uh, some, some really top players in this league, I, I feel like the expectations went up a little bit and the fans expected us to to be, be a playoff team and, and that's what we want. Um, you want to be in big games this time of the year. Um, so uh, no, I feel like we, we've been taking some steps in the right direction and, and hopefully can continue doing that. So it's a lot of fun and uh, we know that uh, hockey is, uh, is big in Arizona uh, and we just got to continue working hard and, and getting better. All right, let's, uh, let's lighten the mood, see if you guys have a sense of humor, or, or if I do. Uh, look at the other three guys on the camera. We got two D men and two forwards. Uh, what do you miss the least about playing against the other three guys on this call? Okay, the thing that really annoys you, drives you nuts. Connor, start off. Catch con. <laughs> probably, uh, probably losing every face off against Bo. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what uh, that's, I'm not very good at faceoffs, but obviously when you go to Vancouver and get to play every shift against Bo, you don't win many draws. So, um, obviously three real good players here. Um, had lots of good battles against all three of them. Um, OEL's probably got the, the best stick in the league. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, Drew, obviously, is just a, a great overall player. So, um, three good, three good players uh, in the Pacific Division. You know, it's fun to go against them every night. Oh, do you really win every faceoff against Connor? <laughs> no, he actually roasted me this year. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it was, but um, no, I think obviously trying to catch him is the biggest thing. So if you can start with the puck, it's obviously an advantage to me. Um, and obviously the other two guys, just every single time in the corner or coming down on them, you know you're probably not going to get around them or get the puck in the corner. So, um, no, that's one thing I don't miss about playing against those guys. That's for sure. Uh, Oliver, you're up. Yeah. I mean, Connor made me look bad a couple of times or a lot of times this season already. So, uh, I don't miss that. Um, I mean, Mark and I, we kind of had a battles over the years. So, um, <laughs> Um, been fun at the same time. Uh, I mean, I respect them, respect him a lot, but uh, um, that's how it is on the ice. But obviously, uh, a really good defenseman and, and uh, a player that I look up to. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't miss the battles right now. It's, it's kind of nice to relax in the sun a little bit. Uh, and Bo, uh, I mean, I feel like you never have the puck uh, when he's on the ice, so. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I don't miss that either. Well, yeah. If uh, what Oliver means was when he crushed me a couple times. One time, I think a little. I thought it was from behind, so we sort of got into it there. The side, I would say, pretty clean. Yeah, he's a Arizona. I mean, every time you play him, you know you what you're getting. You're getting that stingy defense, and uh, I think we've added a lot of. A lot of young skills, so they're they're real tough out. And then the other two, the, the two forwards, 
I don't know why everyone thinks they're so quick. I think they're actually kind of slow, so especially Connor. So it's kind of <laughs> tough to uh, adjust my gaps based on I got to slow it down a bit, I guess, out there. So um, that, that, yeah. you're talking about me. <laughs> no, I, in all honesty, I think it's been great. I think all our teams are we're super competitive now. I think the Battle of Alberta is back, but I, I also think we're huge rivals with with uh, Arizona and, and Vancouver. So we're all right there together, bunched in, battling. So it's been a it's been a fun year, but we definitely we definitely have some heated battles. And uh, like Oliver said, sometimes it's nice to get a little break from that, and hopefully we get going again and bring it right back. All right, that, that, that was really too complimentary. So let's see if we can take it down a level here. Uh, which teammate would you most want to be quarantined with? Which teammate would you least want to be quarantined with, and why? Uh, Bo, you started off. Oof. I mean, on the spot right away, I was hoping I was going to be last. <laughs> um, most quarantined with? I don't know. I'll, I'll go with um, Sutter. Uh, him and I are, are pretty close and, um, you know, share similar uh, interests and stuff like that. So I'd have to go with him and least. Oof. I'm going to have to go with Bertanen. I don't know. Yeah, I was just like getting under his skin and chirping him. So that's all I'm going to say from that. <laughs> okay, Mark? I'll go. Uh, we've been playing together probably the longest, well, sort of the longest on our team. But me and Monaghan are uh, pretty pretty tight off the ice. We trained together in the summer and, and have developed a pretty good relationship. So I'll go with him. We have a lot of the same uh, interests too. And then probably the lead guy I'd least want to be with is uh, I'll say David Riddick. Um, he crushes a lot of Pepsi and pop and stuff like that. So I would, would have to load up for him. And uh, half the time he's yelling at me on the ice and trying to, trying to say things to me and I have no idea what he's saying. So I'll go with, I'll go with Ritter. Okay. Oliver. Uh, it's a tough one. Uh, I think uh, I got to go with a sweet here, so I'm going to go with Nicholas Jalmason um, if I had to pick one guy to be quarantined with. So, um, uh, yeah, he's a good guy, and I mean, we can watch some Swedish TV shows. Uh, at least I got to go with Keller because he can't cook, he doesn't talk. Uh, He's only playing Fortnite, so I'm not really into that. So, yeah. Cal All right. Connor, take us home. Uh, I'll probably go with uh, Nursey here. Uh, he's a guy that I've lived with before. Um, you know, obviously, I've known him a long time as well. So, um, again, I'm real comfortable with and um, know the – ins and outs of his life and, and you know he knows the same as, uh, about mine so um least i'll probably have to go with uh Cass here he's got uh, he's just got too much energy he's go 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 constantly so um you know that's not what you're looking for when uh, you got to be trapped in a house uh, all day so um you know i obviously love Cass, but uh there's a little too much energy for a two-week quarantine got it all right question from uh Nick King of KMPH in Phoenix to Oliver. Uh, can you please explain the backstory of your most recent Instagram post with the horse? Yeah, a lot of people uh, thought it was fake, but it's uh, I actually have a video of it too. So I was going to post that one in a couple of days just to to show them that I actually can can ride. So, But uh, I went up there and I grew up around horses uh, back home. My mom had, uh, had a lot of horses, so... Uh, I, I go up uh, up north uh, here in Scottsdale uh, once in a while and just uh, clear my mind a little bit and uh, wanted to show off a little bit. All right. Uh, Bo, uh, you, you're on the line here with some other guys who are young captains, but this is your first year. I, what what have you learned about being a captain as the season's gone on? Adam Kimmelman from NHL.com wanted to know that. Yeah, I've learned a lot. I mean, um, you know, you try to uh, see what other guys do. Um, I kind of picked uh, Hank and Danny's brain a little bit, um, but it has, it, I can't say it's been easy. I mean, there's, uh, there's definitely that added pressure and, you know, you want to perform, you you want your team to do well every single night. So um, no, it's definitely not easy, but at the same time, I'm just trying to embrace it, learn as I go and 
And, you know, all these guys on the call here today are, are phenomenal captains. So just uh, trying to you know, take and, and learn what I can from each individual. And Mark and Connor, I'll give you both this one. You can, we can lob it off. Uh, everybody wants to know about the Battle of Alberta. And uh, it's ticked up a little bit this year. Uh, is it fun while it's going on? Or uh, are you enjoying it? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I think what's happened is both teams were were both in those in those playoff spots, and I think uh, you know for a lot of my career, um, it wasn't like that. So this is so much so much better. I think it's so much better for the game, and it's a lot more fun to play in those games. And uh, we've had some good ones this year, so hopefully, hopefully we'll keep that going. Yeah, I mean. Uh... Like Mark said, we've, we've had lots of games where they've been pretty meaningless. And, um, you know, this year, obviously, with, uh, with the games being so tight and these four teams being so tight in Calgary, Calgary and, and Edmonton, um, you know, especially, um, you know, there's, you know, the fans always get into it. They're always lots of fun. Um, you know, this year they've been, they've been uh, pretty wild. So, um, you know, we'll get back playing here and, and maybe we'll even see them in the playoffs. So um, that'd be pretty fun. Connor, both uh, Mark Spector from Sportsnet and Jim Matheson from the Edmonton Journal wanted to know, how does your knee, the way you rehabbed it last summer, and how you have to keep it going get affected by something like this where you have an indefinite amount of time to be off the ice? Um, you know, I don't think it plays, uh, plays uh, an effect at all. You know, I'm 100% healthy now, so um, you know, there's uh, – Nothing that, uh, that you really need to do for it. Um, you know, obviously just trying to keep my, my whole body in shape and, and keep myself ready to go um, you know, when we get ready or when we get back to playing. So, um, you know, it doesn't change it at all. all right, let's see how imaginative and uh, self-serving you guys all can be here. Uh, we got all different positions in the standings as they were frozen. Some teams safely in. I think we got one team here that is either out or in, depending on whether we have points or points percent, uh, uh, percentage. So let's go around and see how do we want to restart this and what kind of playoffs do we want to have? So, Bo, you're, I think you're in the, the most interesting position. So uh, we, uh, I, I think mean, you think we need to play some uh, more more games or else go by point yeah, percentage, right? I was just going to say, yeah, either go by points percentage or start, or, you know, play some more regular season games. Um, you know, obviously, you know, to, to make it completely fair, you'd want to play regular season games and, and have, you know, um, more games, uh, you know, to get in. and But if we're going to start playoffs right away, then obviously <laughs> – sorry, Gio, but you want to – I don't know if you guys would be in or not, but um, definitely by percentage, and I think uh, that would put us in. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to make that call, that's for sure. All right, Connor, what kind of playoffs should we have? I think they look pretty good right now. But, uh, um, you know, obviously uh, – yeah. A fair, uh, a fair season, and, and a fair season's a full season. So, um, you know, if, if we can do that, then, then that's uh, that's what we'd, we'd obviously prefer. But um, I don't think we can just step into playoffs and, and you know, game one, you know, Calgary come to Edmonton and, and guys just run around, kill each other, and haven't played a game in, you know, two months. I think, uh, you know, it'll end up to stock and heat versus the, the Bakersfield Condors, if that's the case. So, um, you know, we want to keep the guys healthy and, and – uh, you know, we want to make sure that everyone's good, up and ready to to play some 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 playoff hockey, like Gio said earlier. I think you know if if we can get back to playing, I think it could be some of the best uh, the best playoffs you've ever seen, where you know everyone's healthy, everyone's uh, rested, and um, you know it could be real exciting hockey. Mark, what do you think, Edmonton, Calgary, in a couple of weeks? Yeah, I, you know what I I don't know. I've thought a lot a lot about this. I think. Like Bo said, you want it real, uh, like in a in a perfect world, you want to play the the regular season out and let it play out. See, whoever gets in gets in, but I don't I don't think realistically we're going to have that time. So um, the best one I think I've heard is you can't you can eliminate teams who are out on points percentage or stuff like that. You, I think you you go twelve and twelve, and more teams get in this year. Maybe a couple buys at the top and and uh, play it out. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be tough too to just jump into a playoff game first game. So I don't know how they can work it out where we can almost get, even if we can get a couple in before that, it would be nice. But uh, we'll see see how long this lasts and how long it goes, right? 
Oliver, I didn't think you needed to be called on when you said 12 and 12. I figured you jumped right in, so go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, it's only fair to, to start where we, we uh, left off here. Uh, I think uh, it would be good for the playoffs to, to get those games to really get going again and, and get into a playoff spot and, and be ready for a, a really good, uh, good playoffs. I think that would be benefit uh, all of us. Um, and uh, like everybody else said, I, I think it would be a really good playoffs because we've been getting a lot of rest and, and everybody is going to be healthy when, when we get back. Okay. We have four captains here. I'll start with you, Oliver. How, how are you keeping your team together? Is it uh, you do Zoom calls like this? Do you do uh, you have a chat room? How, how are you doing this? Yeah, we haven't had any uh, FaceTime or anything. It's more uh, group chat and, and text. So uh, it's a lot of chirping going on in that uh, group chat. So I'm actually thinking about deleting it because it's a lot of weird pictures and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. But it, it's a lot of fun. It uh, keeps you busy at the same time and, and you kind of stay connected. So it, it's nice to have. Oh, how are you keeping your group together? Yeah, same thing. Just a uh, lot of uh, group chats going on. We probably have a hundred that uh, keep getting started and restarted back up. So I got a lot of messages on my phone coming from everywhere. But um, again, a lot of chirps, a lot of uh, joking around like we would in the locker room and um, everybody's missing the game. Everybody wants to get back and and play hockey. So um, as soon as possible. But again, it's just, um, you know, everybody's just trying to, to do what's best for the families, keep their families safe and, and, um, and, you know, ride this thing out until everything's safe and then ready to go. Mark, who are the guys on your team who are just bombarding you with texts and, and if they're, and they're big in the group chat and the other guys are asylum? Yeah. I mean, same, like just some, some ridiculous pictures and texts and stuff <laughs> going on, but, uh, I'd say Zach Ronaldo and uh, Big Luch are the two that uh, they they get the chat going every day. And once you, once one guy starts it, it never stops. The phone just buzzes the whole day. Been having trouble keeping my battery at uh, keeping my phone alive because there's so many texts coming in and buzzing my phone. But it's it's great that we have this. Honestly, like we have this technology now where you can FaceTime, you can do all this stuff, and at least at least somewhat stay connected. So we've done that. And, uh, you know, our team has been sending us updates through emails on what's going on and trying to keep us posted, but not much has really changed. So it's been, uh, it's been weird times, but at least we have this where we can, we can actually do things like this and stay connected a little bit. Hunter, you have a young group. They have to be technologically savvy, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough to go last in this one because uh, I'm just going to reiterate what everyone else is saying, but... Uh... Yeah, obviously we got a group chat and stuff like that and, and guys are keeping keeping in contact um we got a couple of guys left in edmonton here and, and uh i've gotten together with darnell and um you know gone outside for runs we keep our six feet distance we don't get any closer than that obviously but uh um you know we can still get outside and go for a run it's it's not exactly arizona here yet but uh you know it's, it's warming up so we can get outside and get a little workout in there and, um it's good. All right, so I tried this with a couple of other groups, and there were a little bit older players. So uh, I'll try it with you guys. Maybe we'll do better. Uh, video games. Any tournaments going on on the team? Anything like that? What's, what's, what's enabling you to pass the time? Anybody, jump in. I don't play video games, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, same over here. I don't the young play. guys are out. My, I mean, my six-year-old has a Nintendo Switch that I watch him play sometimes. But, uh, I just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not enough time for that. <laughs> we we play Mario Kart switches on the on the plane rides, but uh, that's about it. There's nothing else going on at home. All right. Well, here's one you can answer. Uh, TV shows you're binging right now. Your Desert Island Discs, the album that you you know you need to get you through this sort of thing. Let's go around the horn, Oliver. You you didn't talk on the last one, so you go first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's been a uh, been a lot of time on the Netflix, uh, but uh, I've been watching a lot of Swedish TV shows uh, that came out a few months months ago. So uh, if you guys have any good ones, I would uh, would be happy to to watch them. Who's got a suggestion? Help the man out. Yeah, I need some good good shows. The Tiger. Yeah, you gotta watch that. 
Oh my God, that show is that nuts. one good? Yeah, Tiger King, crazy. I've heard nothing but crazy stuff about that. Uh, I don't, show. I don't know if I'm up for that, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> you'll like, I'll it. like, you'll yeah. like it. Trust me, buddy. It's <laughs> the weirdest I'll give it a shot. stuff you've seen in a long time. <laughs> What about the uh, the music that gets you through this, Mark? Oh God, I'm I'm old, so I mean I'm uh, I'm a big Pearl Jam guy. I'm not uh, I don't mind. I'm from Toronto. I don't mind uh, like Drake and, and stuff like that. But I'm more of a Pearl Jam, Nirvana. That was my my uh, stuff growing up. So I'm more of a rock alternative type of guy. Connor, you made a face there. Can you give us what's your response to uh, Mark's? Taste in music. Probably, he probably doesn't even know who Nirvana is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, just different different times. I mean, obviously he's a little bit older than I am, but uh, you know, um, I don't know. I listen to like Post Malone, or he said Drake. I I, I, I don't mind Drake being a strong guy as well. So, um, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm a country guy, so I like uh, I like listening to country. I mean, there's a bunch of good country artists out uh even coming up in the in the scene right now um i don't i don't mind listening to like geo said nirvana some classic rock um you know 80s rock too so um you know we kind of jt miller does a lot of throwback songs and uh he's got the ipod in the room so it's cool to listen to music with him he knows a lot about it oh there are any swedish bands we should know about uh I'm uh, I'm like Mark there a little bit. Uh, I don't really listen to music, but uh, if I had to pick one, it's probably Swedish House Ma Mafia, right? <laughs> All right. Let me let me ask you guys. Anything you've noticed or you've learned uh, in your time away? A skill that you thought you, you didn't realize you had, like cooking, uh, building something, or maybe a hobby or something you're taking up, learning a language. Uh, Mark, start with you. I actually ordered that. Uh, there's that company called HelloFresh the other day where they basically send you, you know, uh, all the ingredients with the instructions on how to cook the meal. So uh, I tried that the other day and it didn't go too bad. I think I, I made a chicken stir fry or something like that. And that was all right. But uh, I just, I hate cooking because of the cleanup. So, um, you know, as much as uh, I can, I, I leave that to my wife or I order in, but uh Cooking's fun and all that, but the cleanup after just it's, it's not worth it to me most of the time. <laughs> Honor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, haven't been doing much at all, so I don't uh, have any hidden talents or um, nothing at all, really. So just been uh, just been hanging out, pretty much. Uh, that's about it. Oliver, how about you? Yeah, uh, I've been cooking a lot actually, and I can't remember last time I did that. So um, something positive uh, coming out of this, I guess. So uh, been actually a lot of fun to to uh, to just make some different dishes and and uh, yeah, try to learn. Oh, you learn how to uh, change diaper? Yeah, pretty much. We were just talking about that actually not too long ago. I've never t changed one in my life, so it's going to be interesting. No, I, um, my wife and I just painted our, uh, the nursery actually last night. It's uh, my first time painting. So, um, it's a little, a uh, little rough <laughs> around the edges, but, um, no, it was, uh, yeah, we're just pretty much preparing for the baby here in, uh, in July. All right, guys, this has been great. I just want to give you each a chance. We'll go around the same order. We started to kind of talk to fans, just give them a message and maybe something to, to get them through the day or so. Uh, Oliver, you started off. Uh, yeah, I, I hope that uh, all the fans uh, out there are uh, safe and healthy. Um, and obviously we wish that we were playing hockey right now, uh, but this is uh, more important that we slow this virus down and, and uh, get back to living a, a normal life. So uh, we miss you guys. Mark. Yeah, I, I just, if there's one thing I wanted to say, it'd be thanks to all the, you know, the medical workers, the doctors, the nurses, everyone who's uh, really, really putting, uh, you know, themselves at risk to, to help the greater good. So 
social distancing and all that stuff. We have to do it. We know we, we can get through this, but uh, hope everyone's safe too. Oh, your turn. Yeah, I reiterate what, what uh, Gio and, and Oliver just said. I mean, obviously we miss, miss you guys, the fans, um, but, you know, can't thank the people, the medical staff and, and the people on the front lines taking this thing head on, um, you know, putting them themselves at risk and, and, but also helping others that, uh, that are in desperate need right now of some help. And, um, you know, hopefully you can resolve this thing quick and, and get back on the ice for our, for our fans. Cause I know they, uh, they're missing it. And so are we. Okay. Connor, finish us up. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know, Mark and, and Bo made a great point. Just thanking those, those that are putting themselves at such a risk to, to take care of everyone and, and make sure that we're all safe and healthy. And, um, you know, what they're doing is, uh, is amazing. And, and, uh, you know, the numbers that they're dealing with is, is crazy. And, and, um, you know, they're doing, uh, they're doing a great job. So obviously thank big thanks to those people, um, to the fans, like I said, like the they both, like they all said is, is we're missing it. We're missing the game. We're missing playing in front of you guys. Um, but the better we do this part and, and you know, stay at home and social distance, then, then the quicker we'll get through this. So um, make sure we're all doing our part and we're taking care of each other and, and uh, we'll get out of this soon. And um, just hope everyone's staying safe. Well said. Uh, Connor, Oliver, Bo, Mark, thanks so much for taking the time. This has been really great. Uh, we'd all much rather see you back on skates and in your uniforms. And uh, we hopefully uh, we'll see that soon. But thanks again for taking the time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.